Kule mtani, tunapokaa kwa kweli kuna kuna changamoto nyingi. Ukiwa kule mtani unapata vishawishi vingi. Makundi yale tunayokaa nayo. Wengine wanavuta bangi, wengine wanakula unga. Sasa na mimi nikajikuta kwamba ah ili mimi na mimi nichanganyikane nionekane kama wenzangu natakiwa nifanye nini inatuumiza sana inaumiza sana kwa upande mmoja au mwingine kwa sababu unaweza ukashuhudia msichana mwenzako anabakwa na wanaume sita, wanaume saba. na habaku sehemu moja wanamuingilia nyuma na mbele na wewe ukiwa kabisa unashuhudia kwa ajili ya sisi kuendelea na maisha kwa kweli ile maisha mtani alikuwa ni magumu sana Siku moja nikakutana na mtumishi mmoja ambaye ni Aristide Shange. My name is Aristide Shange. Uh, I'm a social worker by professional. When I was working every day on the street, I was coming across with the girls. I thought that's the only thing I can help them. The first thing to do is to find a safe place where they can live. During the night, they cannot find a safe place where they can sleep. I come across one of the girls. She was raped by six people. She asked me a help. So when I talked to my wife, and then I said, OK, we kind of have to find a way to support these girls. Because they are just living on the street. They cannot remember the place where they came from. They are human beings. They need help. They need somebody to take responsibility to support them. I decided by myself that I'm going to rent a room where I can make them sleep. Also, using my salary and my wife's salary, we can buy them food and other things. If we'll give them a chance to go to school, so they will, they will get a good result. But at that moment, because I was still working on the street, the number was increasing day after day. When I was going on the street, meeting with other girls, and then I was thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do? My salary is very low, so I cannot accommodate all of them. But I decided to end up my contract because that organization I used to work with, they didn't support me to support girls. So we started with one room. Now, we thank God, at least we have 10 rooms. We are supporting girls to go to school. We started with only three girls at the center. But now we have 30 girls at the center with the five, boy, five, five babies. And these we are expecting to get another baby. But most of the girls, they don't like to get that pregnant. They've been raped. They get a pregnancy. They don't know the father of that babies. But we are teaching them every day that don't blame the child. The child don't have any problem with you. So we have to find a way that's a blessing from God. You get that kind of problem, but you can help that kids and then you will get a, a good life. When we will give a chance for the girls, that we give, if we will give them a chance to get education, they will live their own life. If we will support them, they will do the best and also they can support more family. Because what I believe, women, they are, they are really responsible with the children and the family. Most people used to say that if you are educating one woman, it means you are educating all family. If we will give a chance to a woman to get education, to get a life skills, there will be a good support to the family. Students at the PP House, they have to complete standard seven. Instead of seven years, they have to complete in three years. Most of the time we are using volunteer. We don't have any 
employ a time an employee because financially the situation is not good. We are paying school fees, paying another cost like food or other special needs for the girls. So up to this moment at the PP House, we don't have a permanent donor. So we are asking friends who are just coming to visit to contribute some money so that they can support because you have to pay rent and the other cost, running cost for every day in, in girls' life. Mostly we'll need to get a volunteer to stay at least six months or one year to get a volunteer who have enough experience who they can do maybe fundraising to support this project. Kwa sasa hivi mimi niko shuleni na soma shule moja kwa hapo mjini kati inaitwa Meru. Ndoto yangu mimi ni kuja kuwa mwanasheria. Hapo baadaye nitapomaliza masomo yangu. Moja hapo ni mimi nategemea kuja kuwa mwanasheria mkuu hapa Tanzania, Afrika Mashariki ya Kati, mwanasheria mkuu. Hiyo ndio ndoto yangu mimi niliyonayo.